Jose Garces and we're at Volver Restaurant in Philadelphia. Volver is, in Spanish, it means the return. It's one of my favorite Pedro Almodovar movies. So Volver is a ticketed dining experience. It's a place in which I can kind of like break down all the barriers in terms of like concepts and cuisines and just be like a little more free form. These types of experience really don't exist in Philly. You know, a tasting menu only format. Uh, I just felt like this was the right time. So the dish that best showcases Volver is uh, a dish called milk and cereal. And a lot of the dishes are uh, inspirations from either my childhood or travels. Growing up in Chicago, my parents were uh, both Ecuadorian immigrants. They really enjoyed the supermarket experience. And uh, in that, like they found Frosted Flakes and that was something I just found myself eating quite a bit as a child. And, um, and so we created our own uh, rice flakes, uh, actually uh, black trumpet mushroom rice flakes. And the other part is a serving vessel, which sometimes, again, like helps to drive an idea. And I was happened to be at MoMA in New York. I found like a clear glass milk carton. And again, when I saw it, it kind of brought me back to my childhood of like having these individual servings of milk either with cereal or with a snack. So I put the two things together and we came up with something that was really savory, really delicious, and so far I think of Olver's signature. Well, it's funny, this dish actually started off as a shawan mushi, which is a Japanese custard. And the flavor profiles were chicken oysters, bacon, and oysters. And as we started to evolve from the shao and mushi into the milk and cereal, we knew that the bacon and chicken oyster piece would work nicely, pretty much it was like a very savory element. And as we started to make our flakes, we found that mushrooms was a good way to get flavor into our own rice flakes and also add that mushroom element to the chicken and bacon. At that point, we started to look at what would be our milk. And we had three milk possibilities, uh, celery root, parsnip, or white asparagus. And we went through a process of like making all three milks, trying it with the different cereal elements. And we found that white asparagus actually was the cleanest. It, uh, it, it really provided, uh, after we had cooked it and strained it, it really provided a nice like milk-like texture. And then we added a few other elements. So we had that base, and as we started building, to add a, another like cereal type element, so we made uh, savory thyme marshmallows to add in there, and then to add another uh, savory component, which is just, uh, just fresh shaved seasonal uh, black truffles. And then it really felt like things were coming together. We added a poached quail egg with a little bit of sea salt and olive oil and then we felt like it was complete. I have found that throughout my different dining experiences that there have been certain transformative experiences for me personally that shaped who I am as a culinarian. And so I'm looking to take those, some of those inspirations along uh, just with our own like cooking techniques and creativity to really bring those experiences to life and hopefully uh, yeah, create something that's really memorable. <laughs>